All right, I'm out here in an area not too far from home. I've trapped here before, just uh, out on the snowmobile, looking at this beaver house. And uh, I think I've gotten a couple out of here a few years ago, but last year this house didn't seem to be active, but uh, looks like there's a, a vent hole on top from here. And then, uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's the channels here that they use when there's no ice through the through the cattails. That's going to be the deepest spot. If you go left or right of there, it's going to be all bog. So in the wintertime, they're going to use those same channels because it's probably, you know, five or six feet deep there. And that's how they can get to uh, shore to get into their bank den. They might have more food supply over there. There's an open area here that... It's probably a feed bed there and then I can see another channel over there and possibly a third one over there so I'm just gonna check the ice if it's not too thick I'll put in a couple snare poles here and uh, see if we can get a beaver out of here Got a little beaver house over there. Uh, sets three snares there the other day. Uh, it's an older house, um, but I did see some some fresh activity. So we'll see if we uh, if we got anything there. All right. So uh, here at the house, you can see it's not a very big house. Here in the middle of the cattails, they have a, a channel here, and then another one over there. So I put two snare poles here. And a third one over there. So I just uh, chopped this one out and I see some pieces of aspen when I'm chopping so that lets me know they're probably chewing on my stick. Yeah. They chewed that stick off and no beaver. Look at that one, it's chewed off completely too. Ah, but we got, we got this guy. Snared by the tail. Yeah, it's like a two year old, 30 pounder. Nice. All right, so up on top of the beaver house, you can see we still have a active uh, vent hole. So we know there's still one left in here. Got one more snare to check over there. All right, just chopping out this third one. Looks like we got another piece of ass in there. So I'm guessing this stick is chewed off also. Shoot off and no beaver. We missed that one. All right, not to be deterred. So I will have just uh, one, one snare pole set here. And we'll get the rest of them. Ice is still uh, pretty unsafe. So I left the stone bill over there on the trail a couple hundred yards away. Set four snares around, so there's two beaver houses here. This one on the left though, had a vent hole up on top, a little chimney, this one here did not. So I put three snares around this house and then uh, one in there near the shore where I found what appears to be a, a bank den. So we'll check these uh, quickly. I know it looks like a nice day, and it is, but it's cold as shit. It's a, it's a high of one degree above zero today, so I think we're about there. And here at the uh, first snare, both the snares were knocked down into the weeds, but uh, no beaver. But we know that they're, they're here and they're messing around. So the uh, 
the beaver chewed my stick completely off. That's why this snare was knocked down. Because there was nothing left to hold it on there. So these have been set in four days and based on the ice, I probably chewed this off on the first or second day after I set it. So I only brought one snare pole with me. Right, so I still have two snares out there by the house to check. I just came in here uh, near the shore. So the ice was really thin here and the water was really shallow, like six inches deep. And then it dropped to about two feet and then went back to six inches. So I'm pretty sure that there's a bank den here somewhere. I just didn't find the exact entrance which doesn't matter because I don't have a, I didn't have a body grip trap anyway. So I just put a snare pole out here. The water's, like I said, it's, it's probably less than two feet deep, but uh, just wipe the snow away and see a bunch of air bubbles and a bunch of uh, vegetation floating there. So I think we at least had a beaver down there uh, checking out the snare pole. We'll see if he got caught. So this is, pretty clear water and I know when I set these in fact I even took a picture the snares were just maybe about three or four inches under the uh, under the water because the ice was only about three inches thick right here two or three inches and I can't see the snare I'm just gonna chop this out because either way I have to Reset it. You know. Completely uh, ate my my stick off, and no and no beaver. All right. Well, the good news is these beaver are hungry. All right, snare number three at this beaver house, and uh, started chopping it. And I noticed the water's really muddy, so I'm just going to pull this snare up and put it in in one of the other two spots where the, the snare poles are, are chewed away. Unless, unless we have a beaver. Holy shit, there's a beaver in there. And that's a, that's a pretty big beaver. That's a, definitely an extra large. All right, so we got one of these. No beaver, but uh, they eat my stick. Okay, so the only stick that didn't get eaten is the one where the beaver got caught. The other three sticks are chewed off. So I haven't been here in four days. It hasn't really snowed much since then, but uh, I guess about two inches. Wind's been blowing a lot. But if we look up at the, the chimney here, you can see it's all crystallized. So that tells me that there are still, uh, there's still another beaver here. All right, so 25% success rate. That's not, that's not great, but... I'm not upset at all because we know that there's uh well we got one first of all nice size beaver and we know that there's more here and we know that they are hungry and they're not afraid to go after a stick that's got wires and cables hanging on it so i'm just going to set my one new one reset the one with the one snare and then uh next check i'll bring a couple more snare poles with me probably All right, out here at this spot for my second check that's about with the uh, two beaver houses. The one on the right's active, the one on the left is not. Uh, last time I had four snare poles here and uh, caught one beaver. The other three were chewed off. So uh, I was able to salvage some of the snare poles and, and get three set back in here. So we'll check those. And uh, either way, I brought some, about four, four new snare poles so we'll just replace those ones we have in there like this one here is just uh there's only one snare on there because that's the pole that i caught the beaver on and the one in there by shore where it was real shallow i just it's uh kind of uh iffy so we'll take a look all right so nothing in that first snare 
I replaced it with a, a fresh fresh one. Come over here to check the second one and uh, some vegetation there and I, I can't see the snare down there. The snare pulls uh clean chair to shoot off. And this guy is I think we got a beaver. Alright, not a very big one. Appears to be a two-year-old. Uh, right around 30 pounds or so. Alright, good. So I'm going to reset another one here, one of our new ones. And then go check our uh, contraption that I rigged up there by the shore. Alright, so like I said, I just kind of rigged something up here. I had remnants of two other snare poles that were chewed off. So, uh... It's pretty, you know, unlikely that they were successful. They weren't. They weren't hanging properly. They were just kind of balanced uh, under the ice. So I'll chop it out, see if we got anything. But either way, I'm going to put in a, a fresh snare, and I'm going to also put in that body grip trap here someplace. All right. So I chopped out the first one. Snared that little piece of popple was all chewed off, and then I chopped out the other one. I went to pull it out, and I couldn't. It's frozen to the ice, so I just chopped it out, and it's still frozen. I chopped all the way back to here, I don't even see that. It's about four feet, so I I hope, uh, I think there's uh, I think there's a beaver on there. I just hope I didn't damage him with my, my ice chisel. Look at that. That's a giant. So yeah, you can uh, you can snare beaver in less than two feet of water. Brought a uh, baited 330 conibear. Just I put a little uh, little piece of aspen right there on the trigger. Just drilled a couple holes through it and stuck it right on there. So we'll see how that works. All right, that's a big one. All right, so I just pulled this a uh, big big beaver out of this hole right next to shore and uh yeah the water's uh it's only like less than a foot deep over there and then there's a, a channel here that's maybe a foot and a half to two feet deep that uh, obviously goes into a bank den there somewhere so i added uh, another snare pole in the exact spot where i caught the uh the last one but then i also put that baited down in there and then uh, for added traction put another aspen pole just stuck that in the ground out there about a foot away from the trap <coughs> just to get through attention so uh, we'll see I mean it's probably not the smartest thing I guess if I you know catch one in the snare then he's going to set off the trap I, I mean I'm not expecting to catch two beaver here I'm just doubling my chances to catch one all right, still out on the, on the lake, back at this uh, beaver house where last check I had three snares. Two of them were chewed, uh, chewed off completely and then we did get uh, one beaver there. So I only had one snare with me uh, last time, so I set it right here. And uh, even though there's a flag there and there, there's no snares there. So I brought three new snare poles. All right, just chopped out this, uh, this one snare here, a whole bunch of air bubbles came up. You can see that's about, that's a good five inches of ice. So the snare poles, once again, chewed completely off by this little tiny, I guess he's not a little tiny, he's a two year old. All right, good. Well, we got him, but uh, looks like a fresh, uh, fresh vent hole up there on the on the house. So I'm guessing there's still a few more in here. So I'm gonna, like I said, set these three snare poles and uh, get the rest of this family.